Dad is all upset about. Could mean that there's an eagle or some predator. Hear the ravens as well, so yeah. they're starting to do that alarm. Oh, there is an eagle up there. Yeah, awesome. Geez, you got good eyes. Wedge-tailed eagles are probably one of the most adaptable apex predators. Ibis have become their number one food source. Where do you reckon that eagle's come from? That eagle has almost certainly come from the nest that is very close to this site here, about a kilometre and a half away. Simon has discovered that each year, the eagles are nesting closer to their prey. And their current nest is where we're hoping to find one of their babies. Oh my goodness, look at this view. We're looking for a dead tree that's down here that sticks up. So we're just going to follow this little kangaroo track here. All right. Here's one that the Yongas prepared earlier. <laughs> With the valley falling away beneath us. Oh, my oh there's a bird. And a sudden direct eye line to the nest. Yes, so it's okay. actually at ground level down here. This first glimpse is a magical moment. Yeah, you can see it. You can see them. Okay. <gasps> She's That's beautiful. Fantastic. That is amazing. So that eaglet is about seven weeks old. Perfect time to band. So I'm hoping and that you'll be able to hold the bird as I take some measurements and put the bands on. Can you do that, please? <laughs> I can try. Yeah, let's I'll, let's have a try. I'll show you. Let's yeah. have a look. I'm sure with your guidance I can do anything. Simon is a trained and licensed wedge-tailed eagle bander whose reputation precedes him. There's a little whalich symbol for you. All right. And the next feather we're finding is... Ibis! So that's an ibis feather. Does that mean someone had ibis for breakfast? Or, or dinner last night, maybe. Uh, now... This is kind of like the drop zone. So there's a bit of bobtail, some raven. This, so yeah, this, this is a great tree because there's basically a walkway up here, a staircase. And don't worry that the tree's dead because it's a wandu. Wandu's very solid. I am thinking he's mad. Uh, it's a really big bird, even though it's a chick. It's huge, and the beak on it looks like it's going to be intense. Guy Walich. Hello. Hello. It's all right. You're beautiful, aren't you? Oh. Hey, 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 that hurts. Okay, that hurts. It's all right. It's all right. All I can see is like two bums, basically. <laughs> Simon's bum and a big fluffy bird bum. <laughs> okay. How are you going, Anne? I'm good. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. And just hold it like a shopping bag, please, for me until I get down. Yep. Got it. Try not to make it dizzy. You happy? I am, I've got it. The eagle is secure, actually. I won't be long down. I can't quite believe I'm about to hold a baby wedgie. But first, a hood is put on the eaglet to help it remain calm. The most important thing for the bird's welfare is, is its wings. So I'm gonna try and hold it like a chicken and have it tucked up under my arm. Mm -hmm. Just to see how we go. Beautiful girl. Okay. Oh boy. So those are the bits that we want to avoid. Um, I'm gonna go forwards I'm and you if you come behind and grab those, grab the tarsus like that. Mm -hmm. Now, now see how you've got that in your right hand? Mm -hmm. Just that's the most important grip. Even if it flaps around, just don't let go of those feet, okay? So just bring it towards you. That's it, you're right? Yeah, I'm right. I'm okay, right. now you've got those legs. I've got the legs. Okay, I just need to get my arm out. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. Well, it is like a chook. You happy? It is like a chook. It is like a chook. A, That's right. a killer chook, though. That's right, a killer chook. We're following. We'll do this and then we'll give it a little. Got a bit of jewellery now, mate. It's all right. That looks great. So that's locked over nicely. Okay, that's it. Perfect. This baby eagle now has a unique ID. All right, all right. 
look at that tail. Very, yeah, so the these wedge. are the wedge. That's right, exactly. Look at that, a wedge tail. A wedge. Um, yep, beautiful. Go well, little one. Okay, all good? Yeah. I was seriously shaking, and I think not nervousness for myself, more nervousness for the bird. Daryanin Morich Nungabujawalich. Means go swiftly. Okay. That's great. That was an intense experience, even for me. I'm so honoured to have been a part of it. Yes. Why is it important to ban birds? For wedge-tailed eagles, you know, they're so seldom encountered at close range. Um, it just gives us the opportunity to understand their movement behaviour that we didn't have before. You know, every time that I ever see a wedgie, it fills me with a real sense of calm and mm. some sort of well-being that's bigger than me. Mm that I find really hard to describe, and I don't get that with other species. Mm. Yeah, I completely agree, and I, I feel the same. Um, there is a, a certain thing about eagles, they have this charisma. I remember an occasion a few years ago where it had been a really tough day at home, and I looked up, and this pair of wedges was just there circling, and it just, it was just like the calming voice that I needed to say, look, don't worry what's happened today, everything's gonna be sweet from here on in, and that, that's pretty awesome about nature, I reckon. Um, you can't not get emotional because they are, yeah, they're awesome things. Out of the over 500 raptor species around the world, half of them are on the decline, and at least 18% are on the brink of extinction. So it's a real pleasure to see such a big bird of prey in our city.